Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video, I've apparently been on a blush buying mood. <laughs> I think I have recently purchased like five, six, different new blushes and by new I mean new to me I mean some of them are fairly new launches but they're basically new to me it all started with a Gucci blush and it kind of just spiraled from there <laughs> so I thought we can do some swatches and I can show you all of the blushes that I recently purchased two of them are brand new to me and I haven't tried them yet so if you want to see some blush cheek swatches because you are also a blush lover like myself, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so the first two blushes are liquid cream blushes. First one is from About Face and these retail for $18. I've been wanting to try these, but I did not want to pay the $18. I had some Ulta points that I've been wanting to use and I figured this was the perfect time. So I purchased two blushes through Ulta, pretty much got them for free and yeah. Okay, so here is the packaging and it's like that soft matte feeling. It has a 12 month shelf life and it was made in Italia. Okay, here is what the actual blush looks like. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, okay. Definitely balmy for sure. Pretty much the embossment is gone. I have heard great things about these blushes and I've just been wanting to try them. Base is already down. I did not powder my face. I am going to use this Morphe brush. It's either the Y5 or the Y8. I cannot. The number is pretty much coming off. All right, we're just gonna go in. And I don't have any bronzer because I really wanted you guys to see just the blush perform on its own. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty color. It's blending okay. Not the easiest. We're pretty much just going to be all blushed out today. Okay. Um, it definitely shears out to not much. So keep that in mind when you purchase these and the shady pick. Uh, but I'm not hating it. It's all right. Okay, so um, I definitely feel like it's accentuating, like it's clinging to certain spots on my skin. It almost looks like I have dots or something. I don't know weird so i'm not 100 percent sure how much i'm liking this really so far first impressions it's not doing the best <laughs> i'm going to have to try it out on top of powder and see if it works better okay the next one is the rare beauty liquid blush this retails for 20 dollars and i just i'm pretty sure you've already seen that video i purchased this for a specific video and that's the reason why it's in my collection some of you might be shocked because i didn't own it before i don't know i just never purchased it this is the shade love and the best way that i have found for this to work on my skin i don't know why because i've seen other people just dot it on their cheek and it works pretty perfectly fine but for me it just doesn't work and it like I mentioned in that video it could be the shade because it's so dark so I'm going to pick it up from my hand or the back of my hand with a brush and I did clean the brush it's the same one the Morphe Y either Y5 or Y8 and I'm going to and as you can tell I'm leaving it close to the end because in the front I'm going to put other blushes that about face blush is one of the new ones that I had not tested out or tried yet. This one I have tried before a couple of times and I am really enjoying the shade. I think it's beautiful and it's going to work perfect for fall, but it's so pretty. You see that? Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. So, so pretty. Yeah, best way for me is to put it on the back of my hand and pick it up like that. 
but that blends it out easy, a lot easier than this one, I feel like. Okay, another one of the new blushes that I haven't tried out yet is from Laura Mercier. This is in Very Berry, and it is the Rose Glow Blush Color Infusion Blush. <laughs> Retails for $34, but like I said, I used up some Ulta points, and I got it for free, which is awesome, because $34 is quite a bit of money. And I did purchase a Laura Mercier uh, blush. I can't remember how many months ago, and I do really enjoy it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. Okay, here is the packaging. It's like the fingerprinty packaging. Here is the blush. I went with this one because I felt like the lighter shades, which is there's only three shades available, would be a little bit too shimmery for my liking. So I thought with this one, maybe it wouldn't be as bad. Oh, okay. It feels soft, which is nice. There it is. It's a beautiful shade that, of course, looks like it would be perfect for fall because it's a berry shade. I did already powder my face, and as you can tell, the About Face and the Rare Beauty are still popping through even after the powder. The About Face, I did forget to mention that it does actually set down when you blend it out. It doesn't stay balmy. At least for me, it didn't. I did powder a tiny bit on top of it, still either way. Okay, so this is a Sonia G Soft Face Brush. Okay, so I think I'm going to tread softly. But I feel it's going to go perfect with this cheek because the About Faced shade is close to this like berry tone kind although i feel like most of the shades i've been using lately at least in this video so far are darker more like fall appropriate okay okay so i feel like the sheen or glimmer is not like bam in your face where it just looks like a highlighter which is what i was hoping for because one of the blushes that we're using today it does that and i'll tell you which one that is here in a minute. So pretty. Okay. Okay, Laura Mercier coming through. Okay, the next blush is from Tarte, and it is the Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush. This retails for, well, I got the mini, so it retails for $15 for the mini, 29 for the regular size. Um, I purchased this for a specific video that I filmed. You guys have, should already have seen that. This is the shade Seduce. It has a 12 month shelf life and I don't know where it was made because I don't have the box. The Laura Mercier has a 12 month shelf life and it was made in Italia. Okay. Like I said, this is the shade Seduce, another beautiful fall shade. Let's go ahead and swatch it. I have used this before. I used it for that video and I do really enjoy it. Even though I purchased this for a specific video, I honestly forgot that I have tried this formula before. I have another shade. I don't remember the name, but it's more of like a peachy tone kind of shade. I depotted it and put it in one of my Z palettes and so I forgot about it. <laughs> But I have tried this formula and it's actually very pretty. But since it's one of my newer blushes, I decided to include it in this video. This is a Laura Lee Los Angeles L12. It's a very, very pretty shade and I really do enjoy this formula. If you are somebody that likes matte but not like drying matte, this is a good, very soft matte kind of formula so pretty and this shade is perfect for fall i feel like okay just two more blushes this one is from make beauty and it is the dewy gel cheek tint i have the shade here swelter this brand is actually made in the usa um i don't know what the shelf life for this is i tried looking everywhere i did do um, trying make beauty almost a full face and i i'm pretty sure that video is going up before this one this retails for 30 dollars now that seems like a lot for a stick blush but this formula it really impressed me the first time i used it this is going to be the second time i'm using it so i'm hoping i get the same effect here it is a swatch swelter is the shade but geez this formula blended out so beautifully on my cheek oh my goodness like i was so impressed 
with how it blended so easy on top of powder. I have powder on and in the video, if you haven't seen it, I also had powder on and it blended out so easily. Oh my goodness. Like this blush impressed me so much. And again, super easy. You see that? No lifting of the makeup. It doesn't look patchy. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good blush. <laughs> it's a really good blush. Make Beauty. I don't know what it is about the formula, which they claim to be like a super innovative kind of formula. And I would definitely agree that it's definitely something that I have never worked with before because it literally blended out so easy. I did use the UI, the Morphe Y5 for the Make Beauty blush. The last blush that is newest in my collection and I didn't own, and if you haven't seen um, the video where I talk about this blush, you're probably going to be shocked because <laughs> I did not own this. It is um, the Milani, what is this? The Baked Powder Blush in Luminoso. I just never got to purchasing this blush, even though everybody raved about it. Now, you can purchase this at pretty much any drugstore, Walgreens, CVS. I purchased it at Walmart and it cost me, I think it was like $8.78. I think it usually retails for like $10 and something cent. Honestly, it depends on where you purchase it. But like I said, $8.78 at Walmart where I purchased. And this is the blush I was talking about. It's just like it looks like a highlighter like I know like some of Charlotte Tilbury's blushes look like this but this one I feel like the formula looks like a highlighter I'll go ahead and link the video down below uh, on the reason why I purchased this blush specifically because it was for a specific video and you can see like the swatch of just the blush there and it's just it's too much it's too much so I think when I use this it's going to have to be on top of blushes and so this is the perfect video because i am all blushed out <laughs> um so i'm just gonna swipe it on top of these i mean it's pretty but i don't like it on its own on top of these i'm gonna be all glowy pretty much and on top of my nose um this is the sonia g brush by the way I did wipe it uh soft face yeah like even now just barely putting some on top I feel like it's just too much I mean it looks pretty yes it looks pretty but on its own I don't I don't enjoy it I do not okay let me put the rest of my makeup on and I'll be right back and we can just talk real quick and end this video okay I am back I'm looking super glowy and very blushy. <laughs> I just did something super simple, nothing extreme. I will make sure to link everything else that I have on my face down below along with these blushes. Okay, so the main reason why I wanted to do this video is because of these two products right here. These are the newest blushes to my collection and the ones that I had not tried out yet. These are all news now. These blushes were released, what, a couple of months ago? And these blushes also were released, I want to say a month, maybe five weeks ago. So they're old news and I didn't want to do just a dedicated video to these two blushes. So I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and just do a little bit of a swatcheroo type of party here on my face because I have purchased quite a bit of blushes recently. Again, some of them were for a specific video. I really wanted to just put them all in this video because I love blush and I think a lot of you also love blushes and just give them my thoughts and let you know if these are worth your money. Okay, so I'm going to tell you which ones I think definitely are worth checking out and pick up if you get the chance to which ones are just like okay these were nice but you don't absolutely need to have them and then which ones I'm just kind of like mm, you probably don't need these okay so for sure the two that I am really enjoying and as soon as I put them on my face I'm like okay 
these are good blushes. The Make Beauty, like I said, this really impressed me. And if you watched my, um, I'm pretty sure that video should be up before this one. I pretty much did almost like a full face of Make Beauty and this blush in that video. I was impressed. And again, this time around, it just blended so easily on top of powder. The formula is just so awesome. The shade is beautiful as well, perfect for fall, and they do have some good selections. I feel like a lot of the shades are bold and different than what you see out there. The other one is this Laura Mercier, um, but I think it's because it's the very berry. I feel that if I would have gotten one of the lighter shades, I don't think I would be as impressed as I am. I don't know. That's my guess though, but this one is so pretty, so, so, so pretty. And I am going to keep using this. Um, this is probably a good combo to mix these two together because this one's not really like glowy and this one is. So these two for sure, if you get the chance to pick them up, I definitely would say that you will not be disappointed. Okay, and now the blushes that I feel are like, yeah, these are nice blushes, but you know, they didn't really wow me. I don't feel like you need to go out and get them right now. <laughs> are the Tarte and the Rare Beauty. So the Rare Beauty, I feel like the formula is not as easy as other blushes that I have worked with. Like I said, I prefer to dot it on the back of my hand, pick it up with a brush, and then put it on my face because the times that I have used this where I dot it onto my cheek, I feel like it does mess with my base a tiny bit bit and it could just be the shade it could just be that this is a dark shade but maybe because it is a dark shade it is pointing out the flaws in the formula itself so it's a pretty blush I can definitely uh, make it work like I found a way that it works best for me shade is beautiful price I think it's good and uh, it'll definitely last you quite a while okay for the Tarte I think this is a beautiful formula and I can definitely see why a lot of people would enjoy this because it's a pretty pretty soft matte kind of finish and I mean this shade is beautiful and I'm definitely going to use it this fall but I don't think it's like you know super amazing that you need to drop what you're doing and go get it <laughs> if you get it on a sale great or if you pick up the mini like I did great um you won't be disappointed it's a good formula and I do feel like they have a good variety of shades okay and the blushes that impressed me the least with this little swatcheroo is um the make beauty and the milani so this one i don't know the formula i'm not too sure about it i even tried it like not on top of powder so it should have worked easier right but i did feel like the blending was a little harder than i wanted it to be and i also felt like it really sheared out like this is a bold shade and it does not look that bold in the back like this is a bold shade and the main reason i purchased this is because i saw a few of the youtubers that i watch mention on their instagram stories that they are surprised more people aren't talking about how amazing these are and i was not amazed <laughs> I just was not. So I'll need to keep playing with this. I will have to try it out on top of powder and see if it works on top of powder. But so far, I think you can uh, skip out on this. If you are like a super minimal type of girl where like you literally barely want a tint on your face, I would say that's probably for you. Just from what I experienced from this one time. So like I said, I'll have to keep playing with it. Okay, the other one is the Milani Luminoso. What is this? The Baked Powder Blush. I just feel like this is more highlighty than I would like it to be. It looks like a highlight with a peach tint. <laughs> Uh, I just, I was not as impressed as I thought I was going to be because this is a staple in a lot of people's makeup. Like, so many people have raved about this and I was not impressed like I thought I was going to. Don't hate me. These are just my thoughts, okay? <laughs> Okay, well, oh my goodness, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the blush applications and all the blushing going on in this video. Like I said, I love blush and I really wanted to try those blushes out and give you my thoughts on them, but without just doing a dedicated video to two blushes that are totally old news and probably aren't interested in anymore. Plus, VIB sale is coming up at Sephora, so some of these products you 
you can get at Sephora. And in case you were thinking about them, now you know my thoughts on them. All right, my lovelies. Well, hopefully this video wasn't too boring. I had fun. I mean, I applied so many blushes on my face and the end result of all of them together is beautiful. So that is not disappointing. <laughs> and who doesn't love blush? I love blush. I've always been a blush lover and my collection is bigger than it needs to be and I need to stop purchasing blushes. But I, as you can tell, have purchased quite a bit recently. <laughs> I need to stop. Okay, with that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video. Bye.